Jordan looking around. It's Whoa. good! Oh, he got yeah. it at the buzzer! Sensational shot! Yeah. Top teams in the East are the Bulls, Bullets, and Knicks. One of the top teams in the West are the Los Angeles Lakers. We're going to be checking out those four teams, plus a little bit of the Jazz, in this episode of the 40 Years Sim. Episode 81, actually. Can't believe we've gotten this deep into it, but that's where we are. We saw the Mavericks in the last episode, so we won't be seeing them much at all. I don't think we see them at all in this episode. But yep, and then we got some midseason trades that uh, we got to go over over the course of this episode. I hope you relax and, you know, grab yourself a drink, a snack, and check out these highlights. Knicks Hawks, Sleepy Floyd makes that basket for the Knicks. Less than five minutes up to go, 97-92. We're in Madison Square Garden. Dominique turns around, misses that shot. Ralph Sampson misses. Then gets to put back. Three-point game. Sleepy Floyd to Patrick Ewing. Gets around Sampson. And then makes that basket. Now here's Patrick Ewing again with the turnaround jump shot. He misses. Charles Oakley's there for the rebound. But Alvin Robertson steals the ball from him. And with Oakley on him, Robertson still able to make that shot. 99-96. Sleepy Floyd pulls up for the J. He misses. And the Hawks are back at it. Here's Robertson for the basket. 99-98. Bernard King makes that jump shot. 101-98. Knicks still in the lead. Dominique Wilkins double teamed. Doesn't matter. He makes that shot. Sleepy Floyd to Patrick Ewing. With Ralph Sampson on him. He turns around. Or spins, I should say. And makes that shot. 103-100 now. Dominique Wilkins dunks the ball. He cl double clutch. Dunks it. Ewing gets past Sampson. Gets the layup. Mark Jackson for long two. No good. We're almost at the minute mark. Sleepy Floyd. Heavily guarded by Mark Jackson. Gets blocked by Sampson. Ewing can't make that shot. And the Hawks have a chance to maybe tie it. Cut it to a one-point game. Mark Jackson. Dribbling. Passing it to Dominique. Tries to get past defenders. Pass it to Sampson for a dunk. 105-104. But can they stop the Knicks? Yes. No. No. They almost did. But Oakley gets the dunk there. 107-104. Inbounds pass. Mark Jackson to Dominique Wilkins. Tries to get to the paint. Passes it out to Ralph Sampson. Now to Mark Jackson. To Dominique. He dribbles back. Throws up a shot. It's no good. Intentional foul. 109-104 is the final score. Patrick Ewing with 33-15, 3-2, and 7 blocks. Get out of here, is what he said when he blocked those shots. That's pretty crazy. Alvin Robertson led the Hawks in points, 24 points in this game. That's also pretty crazy. Some pretty crazy stuff. Ewing, could he be the uh, star of this video, the cover athlete? It's possible. But let's move on to the Pacers versus the Lakers at the Forum. Michael Williams gets that shot over Magic Johnson. Ensuing Pacers possession. Malone to Chris Morris, who we rarely get to say his name. And oof, maybe that's why he got blocked by AC Green. Now the Lakers are on fast break. And we got... James Worthy missing that shot. Back to the Pacers. Michael Williams. Dribbling to the wing. Carmelo trying to get in position. Sets the screen. And then a pass to Carmelo who makes that shot. 78-70. Uh, a low scoring game. 
Lakers only with 70 points this late in the game. It's kind of surprising. Magic Johnson gets a dunk there, though. Six-point game. Michael Williams with the jump shot. And the Pacers keep themselves at arm's length. Magic Johnson gets by his defenders for the basket there. But they got to get a stop. Can this defense get a stop? Can they get a damn stop? No, they can't. Carmelo Malone makes that shot. Now here's Malone again to Mitch Richmond. First time we said his name in this game, in this episode. And this game is over. Oof, the Pacers, like, kicked their ass. Carmelo Malone with 25 points, 11 rebounds. I don't like the way I said ass. It sounded weird. So I'm not going to say it like that again. 35 points for Magic Johnson. And yeah, now this game, you want to st strap yourselves in for this one. Bulls, Pacers, 80 to 77. Five and a half left to go. Michael Jordan with the shot there. Looks beautiful. 80 to 79. Scotty Pippen can't get that shot to fall. Carmelo with the rebound. And the Pacers. Michael Williams gets past Scotty Pippen for the shot there. 82-79. Michael Jordan up against Mitch Richmond. He says, Mitch, please. It makes that shot. That's a, that's a good one. That, I got to say that again. I don't know. Maybe I'll say it in this episode. Let's see if we got another Mitch, please. Because that's pretty cool. Mitch, please. There you go. Makes that shot over Mitch. Michael Jordan does. 83-82. Lead for the Bulls is vanquished with that three-pointer by Mitch Richmond. And then Scottie Pippen makes that jump shot. Michael Jordan, can he say Mitch please again? Yes, he does. You can't guard me, Mitch. And then we got a missed shot there. And a dunk by Carmelo. Tie game at 87. Buck 30 left to go. Michael Williams dribbling. Get John Paxson on him. Get him. Pass it to, uh, I don't know, but now it, Mitch Richmond has it. Mitch Richmond misses that shot until the Bulls have a chance here to regain the lead. Man, there goes Michael Jordan with that layup. I was going to say Mitch, but then I realized Mitch wasn't guarding him this time. It was Chris Morris. Chris, please. Doesn't sound as good. Mitch Richmond now with Michael Jordan on him. He can't get that shot to go in. And then with 50 seconds left to go, Scotty Pippen to Horace Grant. Get that, can't get that to go in. Now the Pacers look to tie the game up. Mitch Richmond guarded by John Paxson. He passes it to Carmelo for the dunk. Tie game at 89. Let's see what goes on here. John Paxson dribbling to the wing. Passing it to Michael Jordan. He gets that basket with 21.2 seconds left to go. And after a timeout, let's see what the Pacers decide to do here. Michael Williams, top of the key. To Benoit Benjamin. Who drives, passes it to Chris Morris. Ten seconds left to go. Michael Williams for three. No good, but Carmelo gets the tip in. And it's a tie game. 4.6 left to go. I'm going to let Harlan take it from here. Just watch. Jordan looking around. It's good. He got it at the buzzer. Sensational shot. Shot right there, stepping up to the moment and delivering big time. Just an astonishing way to end this game. Some serious last second heroics. And so the big win by Chicago in a tight game. Well, Stuff like that is why this sim exists, guys. Being able to recreate, or not even recreate, create a new Michael Jordan moment that we could we get to just watch unfold is, is exactly what I like to see in this sim we haven't gotten to see, we haven't gotten to see many 
Michael Jordan moments, like like just pure, just clutchness, and yet this one, this one was for the for the books, the record books, uh, as well, just just a, a great shot to win the game for the Bulls. And look at and look at that image. He has now stolen the limelight from Patrick Ewing in this video, and how could I not make this the something here, something here. There's got to be a good angle here that I can get uh, because, yeah, he, he's definitely stolen the cover athlete uh, title from Patrick Ewing. So, sorry, Pat, but uh, Jordan just, you know, what a great game. and What a great finish to that game. Bulls are still in first place, up a, up a half game over the Bullets. Get the Knicks right Below at 22 at 8. Hawks, Pistons, Pacers, Celtics, Cavaliers. Nets are out of it now. 15 and 18. Sixers, not too far behind. Bucks, Hornets, Heat, and Magic. Jazz are in first place in the West. Get the Ma Mavericks, Lakers, Spurs, Supersonics, Trailblazers in the top six. And Kings, Warriors, Suns. Suns have won five in a row. Five in a row. Remember, they were four and eleven, eight and fifteen. Now they're fifteen and seventeen. They won eight of their last ten. So the Suns are 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 climbing up the ladder, trying to get into the playoffs. Rockets, Clippers. They're not. Neither team is far out of it. The Nuggets, though, that is not looking too good for them. Ten to nineteen, and the Timberwolves. Woof. Speaking of wolves, woof. One and twenty-nine. I mean, good lord! They've won only one game, and it's January. They haven't won a game in this, in this, in the year nineteen ninety-two yet. They won one game this season total against the Suns. Actually, <laughs> wow! I mean, when I put their roster together, I didn't think they'd be this bad. But now I'm kind of like, how bad could they get? That's that's my question. That's going to be an ongoing thing. We're not going to watch any more Wolves games. F that. Ugh. Uh, but we'll keep a we'll keep an eye out on the standings to see just how bad are they going to end up being. Are they going to go one and eighty one? I don't know. Moving on to Rockets, Lakers in Houston. Akeem Olajuwon makes a basket there. Four point game with two forty left to go. Marble to Dale Ellis for the dunk. And suddenly, two point game. Magic Johnson handling the ball. He spins, makes a shot off glass, and the Lakers regain a four-point lead. Magic again, sinks the jumper. And now the Rockets face a six-point deficit. Buck 37 left to go. Doc Rivers receives the screen. Shot clock winding down. He passes to Renzo Charles, who misses the shot. The Lakers are on the fast break. Ricky Pierce with the layup there. Draws the foul. Let's see if he can make this uh, this free throw here. And uh, eight-point game. Nine-point game, I should say. Final score would be 122-114. The Lakers pretty much... Pretty much all Lakers uh, during those uh, highlights. 32 and 11 for Hakeem. 27 points for Magic. Now let's check out the Knicks versus the Kings. 87 86. Less than five minutes left to go. Arvidas Sabonis versus Patrick Ewing. We've seen them match up a few times before. Let's see how Arvidas does this time around against Patrick Ewing, who's been putting up an MVP like season thus far in 1992. Oakley dribbling the ball. Passes it to Sleepy Floyd at the wing. Gets the screen. Makes the jump shot. And the Knicks take the lead in Sacramento. Bernard King Patrick to Patrick Ewing for the long two over Arvita Sabonis. 90-87. St almost a stolen pass there. But Ewing regains possession. Misses that shot, gets the dunk over Sabonis. He's supposed to rise. Jai Gonzalez, and now he's supposed to rise Sabonis. KJ Johnson misses the layup there, and Oakley grabs the board. 
92-87 to 16 left to go in the game. Sleepy Floyd to King to Oakley. Makes that shot over KJ Johnson. Seven point game. Arvidas, a bonus. He's got to take over. He starts off by making that shot. It's a five point game. Sleepy Floyd to Bernard King. And the old man with the turnaround jump shot. Still wet. KJ Johnson. Can't get that shot to go down, but Sabonis puts the Kings. Uh, keeps, it, keeps the game close, I should say. Ewing misses. One minute left to go. This, this is a big possession for the Kings. Can they cut it to a one possession game? KJ Sabonis turns around. Sinks the jumper. Clutch Sabonis. Now it's a three-point game. Patrick Ewing, though. So Bonus can't quite guard Ewing. And now we see Sabonis driving, throwing up the layup, 98-95. Looks like this is a Bart Kofo with the, at, the, at the free throw line after an intentional foul. Makes the first one and the second one. Uh, yeah, 104-100 be the final score. Unfortunately, despite the Kings' efforts, they just could not seal the deal, could not take the lead away from the Knicks once the Knicks got it back from them. Ah, here's Sandings, 27-7. and seven. The Bulls are. Knicks are 27-8. and eight. Bullets, 26-7. and seven, So it's still neck and neck up there. Piston talks, Celtics, Pacers, Cavaliers. Round up the top eight. Round out, I should say. Nets. Are uh, in, in the ninth spot, and the Sixers are starting to fade. Jazz, Mavericks, Lakers, Spurs, Sonics, Warriors, Suns, Kings. Suns have won eight in a row. They're starting to climb uh, up in the, the playoff standings, you know, the, the, the Western Conference standings. You got the, the Kings, who are a game above 500, just like them. And you got the Blazers, who have uh, lost four in a row, and they're starting to. Is it, is it is it time to worry in Portland? What's going on there? Rockets are two games below five hundred. Uh, it's time for some trades, fellas. And I don't know, uh, boys and girls, <laughs> we got a big trade here: Roy Hinson and Danny Shays getting traded from Philly to the Nets for Charles Shackelford, Bison Deli, Jeff Sanders, two first round picks, second round pick. Why do this deal? The Nets have a bunch of first-round picks. If you pause the video, you, you would see how all the future picks they ended up acquiring over the years. And they're so close to the playoffs. The, 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 now is the time for them to strike. That's how they feel. they got to go for the jugular. Got to try to compete. They also traded for Jeff Malone from the Nuggets. The Nuggets aren't going anywhere. Jeff Malone's only getting older. He doesn't want to waste his the last of his prime years. Uh, on a losing team. So the Nets are really upgrading their roster in a big way, giving up all their first-round picks. Not all of them, but a, a good number of them. They got rid of Nick Gannis. So now the, the starting lineup now is Tim Hardaway, Jeff Malone, Cedric Sabalos, Roy Henson, Michael Cage, Sam Perkins, John Bagley, Danny Shea, Stacey Ogman, and Jay Vincent. That's the, uh, the their rotation there. And, yeah, we're going to see if the Nets uh, can, can get things done. And uh, Nick Anderson is now on the Nuggets with Dan Marley, Tripika, Matumbo. The Nuggets are kind of a, in a weird spot. They're 12-22. and 22. Uh, They're likely – they're almost certainly going to be in the lottery uh, unless they really turn things around. But uh, Jeff Malone, there's no sense in uh, wasting his prime there. I thought he would have a much more productive uh, tenure as a Nugget. Meanwhile, the – the Sixers did some things too. You know, obviously they got rid of Henson. Now Jeff Sanders is going to start in place of Roy Henson uh, in their in their rotation. So that's the the big trade thus far. There's a couple more trades later on. Not too many trades, but a couple of you know noteworthy ones. Um, and now let's see this new look Nets team. This Nets team that's really trying to like. You know, 
have some key pieces to try to make a playoff run. They haven't made the playoffs since 1985 and it's 1992, so let's go, right? Let's, they, they, they can taste it. They can smell the playoffs. Now they have a really big test here against the Bulls, who are, if they might not be in first place, they're likely in second place in the East if they're not in first place. And yeah, we got the, the cool blue jerseys the Nets are wearing. So let's check this out. 99-95, Tim Hardaway. Sabalos makes that shot, making it a two-point game. With now there's less than four minutes left to go. Michael Cage driving, making that shot over John Paxson. He, he blows by Cartwright. Paxson tries to help and to no avail. Tie game. Michael Jordan to Horace Grant makes that basket. Back to a tie game at 101, 217 left to go. Tim Hardaway driving, draws the foul. Bill Cartwright is the victim there uh, of, of, of uh, fouling, right? Or, yeah, I don't know. Tim Hardaway makes both free throws, 103-101. Horace Grant to Michael Jordan for the long two. That's a miss. And the Nets are taking it to the, the Bulls here. Tim Hardaway dribbling. The flashy young guard, third-year man. Makes that shot right there. Makes the jumper. 105-101 now. Scotty Pippen to Michael Jordan for the alley-oop. Cuts the deficit to two. Buck 25 left to go. Sabalos for three. No good. Bulls rebound. Now they got a chance to tie him. With Michael Jordan, anything is possible. MJ. Dribbling. Hardaway stays on him, but... MJ blows right past him for the layup. Tie game at 105. We got Roy Henson. Pass it up to Tim Hardaway for three. That's good. 108, 105 is the score. 44 seconds left to go. Michael Jordan can't get that jump shot to fall. And the Nets get the rebound. Tim Hardaway dribbling at the top of the key. Blows past, or he was going to blow past B.J. Armstrong, settles for a jumper, ends up not being good. And now the, the Bulls, let's see what, if they can uh, tie this up. B.J. Armstrong, perhaps, you got something for us? Nope, passes it to Michael Jordan, who gets blocked. Roy Henson gets the ball, and that is the end of this game. 110-105 is the final score on the Nets. I mean, look, uh, it's, uh, you can't just, it's going to take some time, but so far they look really good. 30 points for Hardaway, 10 assists. Sabalos with 25. He's really stepping up now as a starter for the for the Nets. So that's nice to see. Now we're going to check out the, the Knicks versus the Utah Jazz. Four minutes left. There's a made shot by Bernard King. 93-91. Michael Adams going to... Missed that jump shot, but Cormac with the dunk there. Tie game. 3.30 left to go. Sleepy Floyd to Tony Campbell to Bernard King. That shot's good. Hersey Hawkins to Ennis Whatley. Passes it to McCormick for the layup there. Jazz regain the lead. Patrick Ewing somehow dunks it. Dunks it, posterizes McCormick. He's just posterizing everybody this season. You love to see it. Chuck Person, though. Uh, I thought that was going to go in, and it didn't. So Chuck Person misses. Missing person. Uh, <laughs> that was dumb. Sleepy Floyd hailing the ball at the wing now. Passes to Patrick Ewing. Turns around, makes that shot. 99-97, a buck 22 left to go. Ennis Whatley. Or Watley. Either way. Trying to drive. Can't skate past Sleepy Floyd. Or can he? He actually could. Makes the layup. Patrick Ewing makes that shot off glass. 101 99. 50 seconds left to go. Ennis Watley misses that shot. Charles Oakley with the rebound. And the Knicks. Can they pull away? Can they can they get this W in Utah? Oakley to, to King to Floyd. Floyd 
to Ewing. Can't get that shot to go in. And now the Jazz have a chance to tie it or better take the lead. Hersey Hawkins handling the ball at the top of the key. 16 seconds left. Person for three. That can't go in. Intentional foul. And if uh, Tony Campbell can manage to make these free throws. Oh, no. Okay, he made one or two. But the Jazz, they had a timeout left. They have plenty of time to establish a play here. Set up the offense. And Chuck Person immediately throws it up there and misses. You had time. Why would you even want to do that? You're going to get the Knicks time. Makes no sense. Knicks win. 29 points and 12 rebounds for Ewing. He is putting on a clinic for the entire NBA. As I check my front door to see if it's locked. It's not locked. Jesus Christ. Yikes. Dudes, my door was unlocked the entire time. I could have been murdered. Right? That's kind of scary to think about. Bulls are now 30 and 8 for the season. Bullets are right behind them. Knicks are right behind them. The Cavaliers have really put it on. Six wins in a row, 22 and 17. Get the Pistons at 21 and 16. Celtics, Pacers are all kind of like in the middle, middle of the pack right now in the East. The Hawks, the Hawks are an eight seed right now. Uh, they're starting to fall. Six losses in a row. What's going on there in Atlanta? Meanwhile, the Nets. They just made their trade. I think of the Nets as like it's like a desperation move. Not the, the, the desperation is Tim Hardaway. They want to make sure he wants to stay, so that they're trying to build a playoff team around Tim Hardaway while he's there because it's the '90s, folks. If you know anything about the '90s, you know that a lot of players, a lot of young players in the '90s, didn't stay up with with the original teams. That's going to be start. Free agency is going to really start to become a thing in this series throughout the 90s and of course all the way to present day and we're going to see that evolution because i was looking through transactions throughout the 90s um and i noticed free agency really starts to pick up around this time and young players like tim hardaway um alonzo morning right uh shack of course big high profile guys who don't want to stay with the original teams so i see the nets as let's make a playoff team now it might not work Maybe it works next year, but and maybe not so much this year, but they're, they're just trying to work out a way to make the playoffs, keep Tim Hardaway happy, and try to build a sustainable playoff team as long as he's there. So that is how I see the Nets uh, acting uh, from here on now because they got a big star player in, 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 in Tim Hardaway, and they don't, they don't want to let him go. Magic Johnson is leading the All-Star votes. Right now, I mean, we saw the Western standings, and I just kind of talked over the whole thing, but you get it. I mean, you can just pause and look at it. You don't need me to tell you everything. Uh, Joe Dumars, the second place in, in, in all-star voting in the backcourt of the West. Charles Barkley leading the leading the West in, in the frontcourt votes. Then you got Robinson, Tom Chambers, Hakeem Olajuwon, James Worthy. I a bonus. I read it's a bonus, but people like him. Mark Aguirre, Sean Kemp. Michael Jordan leading the East in votes. And I wanted to check. I think Magic Johnson leads overall. Yeah, Magic Johnson is still the most popular player in the league. But Michael Jordan is, is, is not too far behind. Isaiah Thomas, John Stockton, Tim Hardaway, Ron Harper getting votes. Reggie Miller, C.P. Floyd, Mark Price, Mark Jackson, Karl Malone. People love Karl Malone in the sim. They just... <laughs> I'm sorry. They love him. They just love him in the sim. What can I say? The sim... The Sim fans love him. I mean, you know, it's unbelievable, you know. Adrian Dantley and Roy Tarpley are going to be traded to the Pacers in exchange for Rick Fox, Fred Roberts, two second rounders, and a lottery protected first. The Pacers get an extra first to get a promising young player in Rick Fox. Meanwhile, the Pacers are trying to win now. They're trying to make the playoffs. You know, they're trying to stay in the playoff hunt, and they by adding – Adrian Danley and Roy Tarpley, key bench pieces. Losing Fred Roberts, who wasn't really adding much uh, for their team. And yeah, the Pacers, 21-19. They're in the thick of it in the playoff race, but uh, can they be even better? You know, I mean, they started out 0-3, uh, but they've been kind of steady since then. And so the hope is that with these two pieces, Danley and Tarpley, 
maybe they can make a, a run for it. Meanwhile, Mill Tarpin is going to get traded to Philly for Charles Shackleford. Uh, Turpin. Um, was there a couple of seconds? I think there was a couple of seconds in involved in that exchange. But uh, Shackleford is uh, outperforming um, freaking Turpin. And the Jazz wanted to upgrade their bench. Uh, Sedell Threat, or three, and Johnny Newman is getting traded to the Spurs. They need help improving their bench. So that's something that the Spurs did, who are also trying to make the playoffs. And I think that's it. That was, this was trade deadline day, and it's over, and we're moving back. Uh, going, getting back to the, the highlights. 96-93, Houston versus Washington. Doc Rivers makes that shot for the Rockets, 98-93. Here's uh, Purvis Short. We don't say his name very often anymore. Makes that basket. Hakeem Olajuwon with the rebound there, and then it looks like looking like all Rockets thus far in this game. Doc Rivers, Doc to Hakeem gets double teamed. Dale Ellis makes that shot. 2293. Three minutes up to go. Less than three, I should say, at this point. And here's Doc Rivers over. John Stockton can't make that shot. Lorenzo Charles gets the put back, though. And, yeah, the, the, the Rockets are large and in charge in this game. Theodore McDaniel, though, gets that three-pointer to go in. It's an eight-point game. Can they get a stop? Can they stop Akeem? The Dream. Does the Dream shake on him? Makes that shot. It doesn't look too good for the Bullets in this game. You know, despite the fact they have such a good record, when we jump to Bullets games... It's not looking good, you know. They're not looking like what they what what two K is telling us they look like, you know, in the standings. One fourteen ninety six, the final score there. Let's move move right along. Suns, Bulls in Chicago. B J Armstrong to Scotty Pippen. Um, and Scotty Pippen with the layup there. Six point game. Two thirty five left to go. Kenny the Jet Smith. Now an analyst on TNT. Here he is dishing it to Hot Rod Williams for the bucket. 102.98 is the score. Horace Grant to Scotty Pippen. What a pass. What a layup. Now it's a six-point game. Danny Ainge to Hot Rod Williams. Gets that shot to fall. It's a four-point game. Scotty Pippen. Pippen. Blows. Doesn't blow past as a defender, but he does draw the foul. Howard Williams takes blame, admits fault, and here's Pippen at the free throw line, missing the first one. Good Lord, what are you doing, kid? But he makes second one, 105-100. I'm sure if you heard, they'd be like, I'm not, I'm no kid, motherfucker. This guy Pippen's a very angry man these days. Have you noticed that? Really angry. Uh, Danny Ainge misses that shot. Um... I'm not going to get into why he'd be angry. I know he has a lot of good reasons. Michael Jordan gets blocked there. 46 seconds left to go in the game. Can the Suns do something to keep this interesting? Hot Rod Williams. Can't get the shot to fall. Ah, Suns. The Suns just can't seal the deal. 108 to 100 is the final score. Whew. 24 points for Jordan, 22 for Pippen, 23 for Danny Ainge, who's been, uh, he's had a nice tenure with the Suns thus far, you know. You know, he's, he's kind of like the leader of that team, veteran leader. Spurs versus the Bulls, this might be the last one of the of the video, I think. Fat Lever makes that shot for the Spurs. John Stockton misses Cliff Robinson with the putback. I've yet to be really impressed by the bullets thus far, and I'm hoping that one of these games that we jump into helps me understand why they're so good. Because um, their record's pretty good, but when we jump into games, meh. Cliff Robinson makes that shot, makes that dunk. 91-88. They're looking good in this game thus far. Here's Herb Williams. Haven't seen him in a minute. He misses that shot, and David Robinson makes gets the put back. That's what's funny about, you know, we're like Approaching almost 10 years in the sim, and sometimes we'll, we'll, uh, uh, someone will pop up from like the first year or two and be like, oh, there he is. John Stockton 
With that jump shot there, 93-90, Ricky Barry to Tim Cummings to Fat Lever. Lever gets the screen. Lever makes the layup. Lever, we've been talking about him since the first episode, right? <laughs> now it's wait, episode 82? 83? I can't even freaking remember. Stockton makes that shot. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, guy, episode one star. Seeing those guys uh, show up. Robinson with that shot right there. John Stockton with the long two. He drains it. Bullets looking good. Like I said, with that lever now to David Robinson. Can't get that shot to fall. Reggie Lewis. Are they going to draw a foul here? Robinson dunks the ball. Too late. Too late to draw the foul. Lever almost backcourt violation there. Lever with the shot. Can't get it to fall. And the Bullets just might win this game. In fact, you might say they did. 101 to 94. Ends up being the final score. 24 and 13 for Robinson in the losing effort. Yeah. Spurs lose, Bullets win. Here's the Western standings. 29 to 15, the Mavericks are. They're in the first, they're a tie for first, basically. In the West, Lakers right there with them. And then you got the Jazz, who are two games back. Spurs, Kings, Blazers. Blazers have kind of settled down. They're, they're, they're back in the playoff mix. Rockets, Suns. Uh, you got the Supersonics, who have fallen a bit. 22 and 22. Warriors at 20 and 23. The Clippers are pretty much out of it. And the Timberwolves at 3 and 40. The Timberwolves... With three wins and 40 losses, and the average point differential is 20. Easily putting themselves in the running for worst team of all time. And I'm kind of here for it. That's pretty. We'll keep we'll keep monitoring that. Bulls are in first place. Bullets are right behind them, half game behind. Then you get the Knicks, the Cavaliers, uh, the Celtics. The Pacers with six, six wins in a row. They're 26 and 19 now. Interesting to see that. And you get the Pistons. With two wins in a row, but they're a, they're a seven seed, which is not. It's been a while since we've seen the Pistons that low in the standings, right? I mean, you, you have to go back to like the mid to late eighties. Uh, the Hawks, Hawks have fallen a bit. They've they've definitely fallen uh, down, fallen down, fallen down to earth. Yeah, sure. Nets are twenty two and twenty three. They're still hanging around two wins in a row now. And the seventy sixers. This is why they traded Roy Hinson. The Sixers are pretty much out of it. And if they have a chance to get Shaq or Alonzo Mourning, you might as well go for it, right? I mean, that's that's what these teams are doing now. The Bucks, the Heat, the Hornets. Hornets have lost ten in a row. They they really have their sights set on on Mourning or or Shaq, I guess. Because what the hell's going? That roster has no. There's no reason for that team to be that bad. I don't get it. Let's look at All Star participants. We have reached the end of the month. Uh, and I, I, I like I like doing it this way. Eight All Star appearances for Michael Jordan, eleven for Isaiah Thomas. He has quite the resume at age thirty, huh? Patch Ewing with six, six All Star appearances. Carmelo with four. Uh, Larry Bird with thirteen now. Now he has the dash now. Nineteen eighty to nineteen ninety two. That's funny. John Stockton with the sixth appearance. Tim Hardaway. Here for the second time, as well as Scotty Pippins, Kev Kevin McHale. I think that was six for him or seven. Dominique with seven. Ooh, Dominique's first All Star appearance since uh, 1989, it looks like. And Ralph Sampson in the All Star game for the first time since '86. That's that's pretty cool to see. Uh, Ron Harper, hey, Ron Harper, an All Star, first time. I mean, we we saw a little bit uh, of what he we saw Ron Harper in some highlights, and he's really starting to turn turn or things around offensively he's always been a good defensive player but uh moving on magic johnson with 12 all-star appearances nine first team all nba's good lord joe dumars with his third all-star appearance charles barkley but what was that six i think robinson chambers you got clyde drexler running out of time john starks Kim Olajuwon was seven. James Worthy, I was eight. I'm losing my track. That wraps up for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. I am Nutty Sports Gamer. Next episode is the All Star Break. It's the best one yet. I promise you that. Uh, see you then.